You're welcome back to Friday 6 o'clock show. I thought it was you, sorry. No, me. he was cracking his neck. Uh, you're welcome back. How's it stiff? With us this evening are actresses and writers Isabel Mahan and Claudia Carroll and comedian Ed Salmon. With us now to talk about the dating terms we'll see in 2020 and, of course, how to get the shift at the Christmas party. It's Priorities. matchmaker Mr. Fergal Harrington. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, sir. Always and new you. terms. Uh, always new dating yes. terms every time. So we've got one here, yellow carding. What's that, Fergal? That's calling someone out for their bad behaviour. So dating etiquette at a table, if someone's bad manners, if they're eating with their, you know, speaking with their mouth full, you'll call them out and you'll say, this hey, is now. if you're on a date. You if you're on a date, someone. yeah, yeah, you're very much what vocal about your... territory, though, to say to someone you're eating with your mouth it, open? It depends. Or you're, you know, you're chewing with your well, mouth Well, we, we heard a story once where a woman went out on a date and she was there, you know, dressed up nicely and he was, uh, he started to eat and he ate a lot of food in his mouth at one go and then picked up the gravy boat. And just oh my god! No, drank. <laughs> and now drank they're married. <laughs> blissfully happy. Blissfully happy. Yeah. Can I ask about uh, glam boozling? That's when usually uh, uh, females. Yeah, uh, that's exactly how I feel. I'm like, what is it? Well, it's usually women will make a, a huge effort uh, in advance of a date, getting the hair, makeup, all that sort of stuff done, and then being cancelled on last minute. Oh. oh. For nothing. Yeah, no reason. You can't come back from that. that. No, no. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's not good. Oh, that that's sucks. not good. No. Uh, flea bagging? That's usually when you go for uh, the wrong type of guy all the time. I like the bad boy. I mean, like the women saying, I like bad boys, or I have this type, but they know the type doesn't work and never has worked out, but they still keep doing that's it. That's referenced by the, the TV show, then, is it? Because uh, she does that in the TV show. In yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Oh, right. okay. People call us all the time and they say, literally, um, this is what I want, and that doesn't sound exactly what my type would be. And we say, well, with respect, your type hasn't worked so far in a nice mm. way. <laughs> so maybe stop going for your type. That's a good idea. And that is actually yeah. a very good idea. Makes well, sense. Yeah. Definition of yeah. insanity. Yeah. Yeah. The same yeah. thing yeah. over and same over thing. again. Yes. Bread crumbing. Is it bread crumbing? That's, that's teasing people a little bit. So you, you exchange numbers with someone, but then you don't text them as often as you should. You might give them a, a, a yes or a no after a couple of days. So you're keeping them slightly on the, on the lurch, but you're not being honest and nice and true to your Okay. You know, endeavours. Right, okay. So just yeah. kind of stringing them along. Stringing string them along. Knowing you have options, basically. Yeah, we need new words. We need new words. We do need new words. At Christmas time, yes. at this time of year, is this when people are really looking for love or is it a great time to be single? It's, it's a time that people really uh, focus on the fact that, oh God, I actually didn't do anything for the last 11 months and I, another year has passed and you're forced into this lull of between the 20th of December and the 2nd of January where you're in this sort of cocoon of quiet and you're in your own mind and you need to think, what am I going to do? I'll, I'll definitely, I'll call the likes of a dating agency or I'll start a, an online dating profile or I'll do something. So you're kind of, it's heightened. The sense of loneliness is heightened. So therefore we get loads of people ringing up. I have to wake up in the middle of the night to listen to voicemails, write them down and actually, you know, so because the voicemail box literally fills every few hours. Really? Christmas. Well, it's heightened. The friends, the family, everyone's over. The kids are here. Santa's here. I love my sister and, and her husband and I love their cute children, but I really want that. Mm. Does You've only got one more month to achieve the New Year's resolution that you made on the first. On the, uh, yeah, January, yeah, January, January. yeah, the loneliness Would, doesn't end in uh, in, in December, uh, December or January, though. Does so. it have something to do with? And I think everyone can relate to this. At Christmas time, your family are meeting extended family and friends, mm -hmm. and it's always the mothers. It's like, and how's yes. how's how's Maureen getting along? Oh, yeah. Any any fella there? An anti like that pressure, yeah. isn't it? It's huge isn't pressure. It? Yeah, and still planning on dying alone. Any change there? It's 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 been at the singles table on the in the wedding, and Auntie Bridey just saying putting her foot. It the whole time, just yeah. making you feel. Yeah. Yes. When are you going to make me yeah. a grandmother? Yeah. When are you? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Pitter -pitter -pitter. What about the love actually effect? Is there yeah. is there a sense of love actually appears in the television? Yes. Everyone has to give for a relationship. And uh, so many people have watched a few too many movies where they think that the meet cute thing is going to really happen for them. So they have these wild expectations that no guy or no woman is ever going to live up to. So therefore, a little bit grounded, a little bit just more reality based stuff, and looking for certain traits and qualities that you feel are feasible, but not the I want the six foot four. I want the guy who looks like I don't know whoever's. So you need to be a bit more realistic then. Uh. Hugely so, right. yeah, we have to, yeah. So from that Hammer point that of view, you know, whether you're, you're straight or gay or whatever, yeah. do, do men and women, do, do they want different things? Like, do you have to temper expectations mm, all the that's time? That's basically the reason why we would stand out as, as, as being successful, because we turn away an awful lot of people, not out of badness, but because we know what they're looking for isn't achievable. So, and it's all based on CSO stats and sense results. No, it's legitimate reasons, we're not oh just being God, mean. Oh my God, so romantic. I'm gonna read the CSO <laughs> stats to you tonight, baby. So interesting. Right. Well, one of them is, is on down to travel. So Johnny will ring from Tralee and say, have you women in Tralee? And we'll say, yeah, Johnny, but it doesn't mean the women in Tralee are right for you. <laughs> Equally, Mary will ring from D4 and say, 
do you have guys in D4? We're like, yeah, but, doesn't, but there's more women living in Dublin than men because women spend longer in education and that's why there's more professional women pocketed there. Mm. There's a whole reason okay. behind it. And then the age thing. Age yeah. Stats people. are sexy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Yeah. the people who get caught by those, you know, those uh, hot singles in Ballish Canuck <laughs> or want to talk to you right now. Because oh, <laughs> I see that come up when I'm a I have no idea what you're talking about. In, 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 <laughs> you know, no, no, okay. should check out the internet. Really? Uh, not, I don't have that in my house. There's some interesting stuff on there, right? <laughs> Let's check it out. The age is the biggest one, though, that, like, the 40-year-old men will start to get difficult on age and they'll say, I want a 27-year-old because I want to go out with her for three years before I get engaged and then maybe I'll ready, I'm ready to have kids. So he kind of wants his cake and eat it too. Mm. And That's then... fair enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'd okay. say okay. I think if you, if you get a little uh, yeah. he might see it all know. popping up in your um, message box. I'll be well aware. Well, we've heard now, Claudia, before we've heard some dating disasters of yours, Ed, Sam, and you're putting yourself out there now. Any yeah. disasters? <laughs> Well, I, I thought it was a disaster. It seemed to be going very badly. Uh, yeah, I went, well, I went on a first you date. You poured gravy into your mouth when you were eating food. <laughs> oh, I wish it was my mouth. Um, <laughs> that would have been acceptable. No, uh, we, uh, yeah, I went on a first date, and it was a multifaceted first date, uh, which, to my mind, gave her ample opportunity to escape at any point. Uh, we went for a meal, which was disappointing. Uh, five minutes into it, I started talking about my skill at skinning and gutting rabbits. <laughs> and as I'm saying this, I'm in my head I'm going, what are Stop. you talking about? Stop. Stop, you <laughs> idiot. First sign of a serial killer, that's, what, that's it right there. <laughs> I think I was trying to, I was, I think I was trying to convey, because I think society's gonna collapse pretty soon. So, so I'm a hunter gatherer. Yeah. Oh, right. I'll be able to, you know, get the small meats. You, you know. could protect her. Exactly, yeah. Well, Except he just start, started talking leave? about his skinning skin. technique. When did yeah. she leave? That's a good, she didn't leave. Ooh. And, like, we, like, we went walking around a graveyard in the rain, which is every woman's killed idea a of romance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a squirrel. I was like, there's, there's dinner sorted. That was um, niche, wasn't it? That oh, was a niche, very niche. date. Yeah, I, w I think I was... I think I was monologuing too much because as a comedian, I'm used to having sort of one sided What were you talking about? I was talking about my ex. Oh, um, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, always a good one. Better and better. Yeah. I was talking how uh, I love to light fires and uh, all the other things that serial killer is oh. there. <laughs> I just enjoy murdering people randomly <laughs> over a right. wide geography, you know. Okay. I'm assuming signs. that she stayed for the date, but then it was over. It was over. Then it was ghosted after that. It ended. No, uh, we went on a second date. She, she thought I was kind of uh, funny Different, and charming, anyway. despite all of yeah, my I'm... scary things I said. And then the second date over? Yeah, we're, okay. still, we're still together, yeah. Oh, oh so are you really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my listen. God. What? I take that back. There you you won't be hearing. No? Everyone. Yeah. Oh. So, if you want to just rewind back on your DVR and yeah. just take notes and all that stuff, yeah. it works. Yeah. It's <laughs> totally fine. People are forgiving. That's the... That's <laughs> always remember. Yeah, always someone remember that. for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that even, story? Even weirdos like... Yeah, we're, we're at that time of the year, though, aren't we? That oh, time absolutely. of the year. It sure is that time of the year. The work Christmas party, oh. Fergal. Yes, yes. The yeah. um, it's <laughs> probably not the greatest time to first approach the person that you've been in love with in your office um, after a gansy load of mulled wines and whatever else. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, it's best to. We think the best <laughs> advice will be okay. Have a middleman or a middle woman uh, broach the question in like the meeting room or in an office or in the kitchen. What do you think of Johnny there and Mary now? What do you think of that? Or she's single before. Yes. Before the Christmas. Just party. to avoid the awky momos there of actually professing your undying love for Mary for her then to be, oh, I have to leave my job now. So it's just a little bit, <laughs> yeah. No, I'd say, I'd say just it's like tread my carefully. Friend wants to in talk a to workplace, you. you know, given all the political correctness now, are you allowed to do This that? is true, you have to check your company handbook, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, we don't know. Fraternising uh, amongst uh, colleagues is a lot of the time going to be frowned upon. you find yourself in HR on the oh, Monday yeah. morning? Oh yeah, big time. So Ooh. you have to see, way up the options is your job. What's your, your what job? are all the guards and nurses of the world going to do? Should sure, they're all marry each other. That's what This is true. Okay, Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. HR any... of the heartbreak room. That's yeah, like stuff. pretty much. Is there any other tips now for Christmas parties, workplaces that you would it, it go to everything and be be Go be yourself, everything. 100%. Go to everything, be proactive. Uh, people feel an awful lot better if they just set up some profile, if they start a club, if they do something to get the ball in motion so they're not going through a really lonely sort of Christmas of thinking, God, okay. another year, another year. And the darker evenings have even made a bigger issue, yeah. a bigger effect yeah. and impact on start people. Start up a skinning rabbit club, apparently. Just it works yeah. for... Whatever it works, whatever it works for you. It works, for you. It works yeah. for... We are very sorry to every vegan and vegetarian who is watching right now. It's so bad. From intro very gamey. match... Very gamey. Very gamey. Very gamey. <laughs> From <laughs> intro matchmaking, Fergal, how are you? Thank you so much. <laughs>
a Gansey load of mulled wine. Gansey. It does depend on the sauce he used, though, Ed. It depends oh, on the sauce yes, he goes with yes, this, yeah. Yes. Uh, right, we're, we're taking a quick break now, but up next, we'll be heading over to the Sixth Kitchen uh, to join Owen for some taco fries. And you can keep sending the things that are making you happy this Friday. It's WhatsApp 083 360 or you can use the hashtag 6VMTV on any of our social channels. We'll see you back here soon.